Hi, my name is Steve Goldberg, and welcome to Using Google Earth to locate and record news articles that students read on a regular basis as they engage with the world. Uh, I would argue they should be reading news articles on a regular basis to engage with the world. So let's go to Google Earth. There it is. And the place we want to find is the Three Gorges Dam. And Google Earth actually knows where that is. We'll talk in a moment about what you do if Google Earth doesn't know where something is that you type into this search box up here. But let's click on A. And it turns out this will take us to a scenic view area that allows you to see the Three Gorges Dam. I'm going to turn this button off. But if we zoom out a little bit, you can see this is the Yangtze River. And apparently there's a hotel where you can stay as you're looking at the Three Gorges Dam. And I'm going to click, uh, this is the dam right here. I'm going to click out this box, zoom in a little bit more on the Yangtze River. And just so we get some perspective here, this is a measuring tool. And you can click on two different points and it tells you how far it is across. It's about two miles wide. This is the the largest dam currently in the world. Um, and so what we would do if we read a news article about it is click on add a place mark. We'll call the place mark Three Gorges Dam. Make sure it's in the right spot. That looks like a pretty good place for it. And we'll call it Three Gorges Dam. And then we might say um, something like, I learned about this dam from an article in the New York Times a few days ago. And we'd say maybe this is mid November 2011. And you can put the link in there, HTTP. I don't have the link in front of me, but let's just say it was um, www.nytimes.com. And then when I click OK, now I have a new link. And if you click on that, you could click on that link and it would open up the article that led you there. So that's how to uh, put a place mark on. And we'll just uh, stop there for right now.